So, you want to get into autophagy faster. Well, you're lucky because in this video, I'm going to tell you the fastest way to activate autophagy. It can happen even within minutes and hours. First of all, autophagy is the self-recycling process where your cells are eating themselves and it gets activated under energy deprivation. This is going to promote cell survival and clearance of all dysfunctional organelles. They do say that in order to activate autophagy, then you need to be fasting for at least 3 to 5 days. However, what people don't realize is that there are various degrees of autophagy and there are different types of it that are happening almost all the time. How fast you activate autophagy depends on the particular individual and what's their energy homeostasis at that particular moment. If your body is low in liver glycogen, then it's going to elevate the fuel sensor AMPK, which regulates autophagy. That's why there are certain things like fasting, low-carb diets and exercise that can speed up the process. They're going to definitely improve your body's metabolic flexibility and thus condition you to tap into autophagy more efficiently. Okay, now that I covered the basics, here's the fastest way to activate autophagy based on the research that we currently have. The idea is to deplete your liver glycogen and put high energy demands on the body as to elevate AMPK. It's fasted cardio. First of all, your fasting, which is probably the most important variable when it comes to this. And secondly, you're also exercising, which adds additional energy depletion. So both of them are stressors, and they deplete your body from the glycogen, which will thus enable your body to tap into autophagy much faster. There is research to show that exercise done in a fasted state has shown an increase in LC3B, which is a protein related to autophagic activities. This makes sense because you're putting more stress on the body and in order to survive, you have to start recycling all the junk you don't need and self-eat. Just 30 minutes of cardio has been shown to induce autophagy zone formation. Doing high-intensity interval training probably requires less time because high-intensity exercise burns a lot more glycogen than steady-state cardio. So, the fastest way to activate autophagy is fasted heat cardio. If you were to combine it with things like a heat sauna or a cup of coffee, then that would probably speed up the process even more because those things are also related to autophagy activation. How long you've been fasting will also be quite relevant. In general, if you were to do no exercise, then it takes about 24 hours to deplete liver glycogen and start getting into ketosis. There's about 100 to 150 grams of glycogen in the liver, which you can deplete with about 120 to 150 minutes of moderate to high intensity exercise. So, if you were to be doing some fasted cardio around 16 to 20 hours of fasting, then that's probably enough to gain a meaningful amount of autophagy. However, what you do afterwards is probably much more important than what you do beforehand. It doesn't really matter if you get like a small boost of autophagy by doing fasted hit, if you compensate for that by eating some pasta or pastries afterwards, because that's gonna just refill your liver glycogen and that's gonna inhibit autophagy immediately. Disappointed! Now, I do think that fasted workouts are okay and you get like an increase of growth hormone and autophagy as well, but I'm not that big of a fan of people doing crazy amounts of HIIT training while they're fasting. Here's why. Most commonly, the people who are promoting and doing a ton of HIIT tend to have some metabolic issues like a low thyroid, stubborn fat loss, eating disorders or just body image issues. They're also somewhat addicted to the adrenaline they get from HIIT and it keeps them wanting for more of that same adrenaline rush. The biggest reasons people do intermittent fasting and exercise is for autophagy and fat loss. However, HIIT cardio isn't the best thing for either of those goals. Focusing on spin classes, Tabata workouts, HIIT and a bunch of cardio is not optimal for losing fat. Sure, it does burn calories, but you're not really changing your body. Instead, for actually losing fat and keeping it off, you'd want to focus on resistance training. It's going to increase your lean muscle mass, which increases your basal metabolic rate without you having to exercise for it. It's going to put less stress on the body, enhances bone density, and makes you more insulin sensitive. Resistance training has been shown to activate autophagy and reduce apoptosis of muscle cells. When you're doing any form of resistance training, whether with weights or body weight, you're also depleting glycogen at a much higher rate than with cardio. So, you get the hormonal response from growth hormone, you promote autophagy, and you adapt to it by making your body build muscle. 
people who have more muscle and they have leaner body compositions generally also have better biomarkers and they're healthier in general. Having more muscle mass can make you more metabolically flexible and it's easier to lose fat with it. You're probably going to condition your body to tap into autophagy much faster as well because of having that increased amount of lean muscle mass. Common sense would say that autophagy promotes muscle wasting and sarcopenia because of breaking down proteins. However, research shows that autophagy actually maintains muscle and protects against age-related muscle dysfunction. So overall, what I recommend you to do is put your main emphasis on resistance training and trying to build lead muscle mass instead of doing hit cardio. Unless you're a professional endurance athlete or you just love to do cardio, then cardio shouldn't be like an end of itself. It should be just a way of increasing your daily activity. Of course, it's great for burning more calories, but burning more calories in the long term isn't that sustainable. You want to focus more on building lean tissue that increases your metabolic rate and you're gonna get away with eating more calories without having to burn for them. Okay everybody, let's take this next hill! When it comes to both autophagy and fat loss, then doing resistance training and combining it with some milder form of cardio is much better than focusing only on cardio or HIT. Instead of thinking about what's gonna give you the fastest short-term results, focus more on what's better in the long term. If you want to know how to combine resistance training with intermittent fasting and eating the appropriate foods for both goals, then check out my Metabolic Autophagy Masterclass. It comes with a 4 week meal plan and a workout routine. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered. And